there. Thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this adorable Whimsy Stamps image called Oak Tree Girl. Isn't she cute? The little sentiment here is from the Hero Arts Mini Everyday Messages Sentiment Set. It does not come in the kit. You get this one sentiment. I will put a link down in the description box of the card kit and all the supplies I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. Okay, so let's do her skin first since she's going to be cut out. We don't have to do any outlining. For her skin, we're going to use E21 00000 V20. And for her cheeks, we're going to use R12 and 11. So let's start down here on her hand with our um, E21. So for E21, let's do a little dab here and up the seam of each finger. And then I'm going to go along the bottom of her hand here. And then I'm going to add E00. And then our E000. So fill that the rest of the way in. And we'll hop up here and we'll do her um, face. So again, we're going to start with our E21. Let's do our neck first. So I'm going to go right here on her shoulder and then under her neck. And let's go like this, brush it away a little bit. And then up here on her face, let's do um, inside of her ear. And then we're going to bring this color right along her bangs. And I'm going to brush it away from her face, or away from her bangs a little bit. And over here, I'm going to bring it down along her ear and around on her chin. Then I'm going to add E00. Can you see it? <laughs> I can't see it. Okay, and we're going to E00. Somebody asked me to please show the caps um, so they would know what color I was using, so I thought I would try that out. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's helpful for, for all you guys watching that don't speak English. And then we're going to add E00. And I'm going to give it a second coat, so I'm not worried if it's not blended all the way. So a little bit over here on our cheek, and then let's come over here this way. So for our cheeks, we're going to go with R12. And let's do that here on this side. And then over here, let's do a little bit on this side of her eye. And then we're going to add R11. Oops. And then we want to go back with a second coat of our cheek color. So we're going to go or with our skin color. So we're going to go E21. And let's go ahead and do our neck for a second time too. And then we'll do E00. Yeah, I think I'll come down this side just a little bit. And then we're going to add E00. Brush 
brush a little bit more here. I think I'll add a little bit more of that cheek color. So let me grab R12. Oops, better do this side a little bit too. And then our R11. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of my E00. So E00. E triple zero. Then I'm going to take my V twenty and I'm going to give her a little bit of shadow here underneath of her hair. So let's go right underneath of her hair. And I'm going to kind of curve it right around here on her forehead a little bit. I'll go underneath all of this. So for her hair, we're going to use E47, 44, 43, and 42. And I'm going to start with my E44. So that, let's go up here. Let's start on our bangs. So I'm going to take my E44 and I'm just going to brush up here from the end. And give it a little bit of color. And then down here, let's do a little bit on this little curly cue she's got right here. And then I want to do this hair that's coming away from her neck. And then for this little braid, I want to go down each one of these little um, lines. Work our way across her bangs. This little piece right here. And then she's got a bunch of stuff going on up here. So let's do this little curly cue. And I want to do the inside of this one. And the inside of this section. And then where these are curling back around, let's do in there. And away from these bells. And we better go away from the bells on this side too. Okay, so far so good. So now we're going to add E43. And same thing, we're just going to go around and add a little bit more color to each little section. Oops, I should have probably done these over here. We'll come back and do those. And then we want to get these up here. And 
And let me grab my E44 again, and we'll go down and we'll get these little pieces that are sticking out right here. We're going to call those hair. And this little spot right here. And then we'll add our E43. Then we want to add E42. Same thing, we're just going to add a little bit more color. I'm not very good at leaving white space, so I'm just going to fill mine the rest of the way in. Okay, then we're going to go with our E47. So let's start, oh, let's start down here at the bottom. So let's go a little bit here in each of these little creases. Let's see, we've got to do our bangs. And away from our bangs, let's go up here. Let's see, got to go up here in our little bun, and we want to color in the inside of these little swoops too, little curls on our hair. And these in here. And away from these bells. Then I want to go back and add a little bit more of my E44. Just to soften that edge of those little lines just a little bit more. Color in the rest of that swoop. And let's see here. We better do a little bit coming away from these bells. I think on this little bun part up here, I'm going to add a little bit more of my E43. 
right up here to this little section right up here. Maybe a little bit more toward bangs. Let's do the bells next. For that, we're going to use T7, 4, 2, and 0. I'm going to start with my T7. And I'm going to do the inside of the little circles here. So let's do a little dab of this on the inside of our circle. Fill about halfway. And then I'm going to add T4 to fill the rest of the way in. And then we're going to use our T4 a little bit on the bell too. So let's go here, maybe along the bottom. And maybe we'll do a little bit on this side. And then we want to add T2. And then our T0. And I'm just going to swipe over the entire thing. And later, I came back with my Spectrum Noir Clear Overlay Glitter Pen, and I sparkled these up. They were really sparkly. For her shirt, let's use W3-1 and our Colorless Blender. So I'm going to start with my W3. And let's do that a little bit right next to her overalls or her dress. And then I want to do a little bit on the inside of the strap and the inside of her arm. And then for her sleeve, let's do a little bit, let's give it a little wrinkle right here on this side. And then we want to go down the back of her sleeve a little bit. And let's see, let's do a little dab right here on the back of her back. Then I want to add W1. So I just want to lightly go a little bit over that W3. And then we're going to use our colorless blender to go over both of those. She's got a little bit of her, her shirt, I'm going to call it undershirt, underneath of her dress, right here above these little socks. So I'm going to add my W3 right here, and a little bit over here on this crease. And then I want to add W1. And then our color blender to soften those. Then these little buttons right here on her outfit, we're going to use W5 and 2. So I'm going to start with my W5. And I'm going to do those just around the outside where the little, where it looks like it's raised. And then I'm going to fill them in with W2. And I think I'll give it a little more of my W5. Let's hop down here and we'll do the bottom of her shoes. For that, we're going to use N8, 6, and 5. I'm going to start with my N8. And let's do this shoe right here. And 
and I'm going to do up to the strap. And then I want to go on this side just a little bit. And then for this one, let's do over here up to the strap. And I'm going to only do the inside where it's touching her other shoe. And then I'm going to grab N6. And then we'll fill it in the rest of the way with our N5. For her shirt color, the patch on her shirt, and the, some of the stripes on her little leg warmers or socks there, we're going to use BG57, 34, 32, and then N0. And we're going to start with our BG57. And let's do that up here. She's got a little bit of her collar showing right here above this strap. And then I'm going to go on this side. That. And then for her sleeve, I wanted this little patch. I'm going to go down the back. that and then we'll go down here and we want to get the bottom of her little strap that's holding her leg warmers or her socks down and then let's see let's do this one and then we'll come back here and we'll do this side and we're going to skip one and then again we're going to skip one and then let's do this middle one and then I also want to do the top, so I'm going to do the opposite. Then I'm going to add BG34. So let's do that up here at the collar. And her patch on her sleeve. And then we want to add a little dab to the socks. I'm going to fill in this bottom one here. And then we want to add BG32. We're going to color the alternate stripes on her socks um, dark or black. So if you get some on there, don't be worried about that. We're just going to cover that right up. And then I'm going to take my N0. And I'm going to just go over the top of that, both all three of those colors. Just to gray it down just a little bit. Dirty it up. make it match my paper just a little bit better. So for the alternate stripes on our socks, we're going to use W9 and 5. So for the alternate stripes on our socks, we're going to use W9 and 5. And we're going to start with our W9. And let's do, let's see, like this, I'm going to try to do about halfway on each one. And I'm trying not to touch anything else because you're never going to get this off if you get it somewhere where you don't want it. It's just too dark. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm going to fill them in with my W5. Let's go down here and we'll do the branch um, that she's sitting on and she's got a couple up here in her hair. For that we're going to use E27, 23, and 43. I'm going to start with my E27. And let's see here. Let's go start over here on this one. We'll add a little bit of that. And I'm just going to kind of put a little bit along the bottom of my branch here. I'm going to fill in this little tiny one. And then we're going to go over here. we got to go underneath it for fingers. Go underneath it for clothes. And then I'm going to do the bottom of this branch here. Then let's go over here and we'll get this side over here. So we'll go over here. And let's see, there's a little dab of branch showing right here on top of her shoe. So I'm going to do that. Then we're going to go up here and she's got a couple of little sticks in her hair. So let's do this one right along the bottom. And then this one over here, add a little bit. Then we're going to add E23. So let's, since we're up here, we'll just go ahead and add a little dab to these. We'll add some to our branch down here. And then we'll add our E forty three. and the branches in her hair. For the leaves, let's use G28, 94, 85, 24, 21, and 20. Well, that's a lot. Okay, so we're gonna start with our G28. And we're going to do, let's do this one over here first. Right along the bottom there and a little bit underneath where these bells are. And then let's hop over here. And we're going to do where this one's touching her hair. And this one, I want to leave a little bit of a white stripe. I'm going to try to leave some highlights in there. So I'm going to put a little green strip right here, just so I'll remember this little section by the, um, the vein and the leaf. I'm going to leave um, white or light green. And then we're going to go over here and we'll add a little bit to this one. And let's see, how about this one that's coming away from her hair too? Let's do a little bit. Oh, 
away from that. And it kind of curves over here. It curves back down and around. So I'm going to bring this over here. That. And then let's do a little dab on the bottom of these. Okay, then we want to add G94. Okay, so let's go over here and do this one since we started over here. And then we'll just work our way around. And a few of the leaves have little um, dots on them. I'm going to leave those for my lightest color. So I'm going to leave them, not, don't try not to color them in. I did it the first time I colored them in. I'm like, oh, I should probably have left those. Okay, then we want to add G85. Got lots of greens today. Whoopsie, I colored right over that dot. Bad, 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 Heather. You want to leave yours white. <laughs> I get a little crazy there. Okay, then we're going to add G24. And work our way over here. And then we're going to do G21. This one over here, there's not too much left. I'm just going to do a little dab on the colors I already laid down just to soften them a little bit. Because I want to put some highlights down on the top of that one. And then we're going to fill those the rest of the way in with our G20. And there's where you can fill in your little circles. Then let's hop down here and do these at the bottom. So grab G28 
And we're gonna do that first. So let's do, let's start over here. So let's do a little bit of that right on this one. And let's see, this one is going curling under, so I'm gonna make sure to get into there. Let's go away from the leaf on this side. I'm going to come down here and do this one. And then this one's folding under, so let's make sure to get some in the fold. And this one over here, again, this one here is folding under, so I'm going to do a little dab in there. And then a little bit up here at the top. Then we are going to grab G94. I'm going to start over here where I started. Just add a little bit more to each leaf. And work our way to the other side. I'm going to fill in this section right here at the bottom. Got that one, so let me add a little color to that. Then we're going to go with G85. Fill in the bottom of this one. Okay, then we're going to go with G24. Let's see. And then G21.
work our way over to this other side. And then lastly, we're going to fill it all in with our G20. I'm going to use this color to go over the entire leaf. Let's hop over here and do the, the oak nuts here. For that, we're going to use E57, 55, 31, and 30. I'm going to start with my E57. And let's do a little bit here along the top. I didn't like how I did it the first time, so I'm going to maybe do, do it a little bit different this time. I put some streaks on it last time, and I just... Never could get it to look right. But of course I've colored I colored the whole thing and I left that to last, so I didn't want to redo it. <laughs> it's being lazy. Maybe give it a little bit of a highlight here. Okay, we'll try that. And then let's go with E55. I'm not liking that any better, so let me grab my E57 again. I think I'll bring it up. And then I'll add E55 again. I'm kind of like that, so it looks a little better. And then for the tops, we're going to use E31. And then our E30. And I think I'll add a second coat of my E31. Let's do this little ladybug. For that, we're going to use R29, 24, and then our 100 pin, or whatever black you have. So I'm going to do R29 first. And I'm just going to do that right next to the leaf. And then I'm going to add R24. And you want to be careful. You don't want to be too crazy. Draw outside the lines. And then, of course, a black pen to fill in these dots and the head. If you colored right over those dots with the red, it wouldn't really matter because you're going to color in black anyway. I was trying to be so careful, and I just didn't need to. Let's go down here and do the bird next. For his body, we're going to use B93, 91, W1, 00, and then for his um, tummy, we're going to use, or his breast, we're going to use E50. So I'm going to start with my B93. And let's do a little dab of that coming off of the branch. And then down here, we're going to make this come around and touch over here. And let's go up underneath of his head. And maybe a little bit down here on his wing, his tail feathers. 
And then for his face, like this. And then for his head, I'm going to come out a little bit more on this side. And then I'm going to go with B91. So I'm going to cover that the rest of the way up. And then for his face, we'll go like so. Then we are going to add W1. So I'm going to put my W1 where I put my B93. And then we're going to add W00, and we're going to put that where we put our B91. Then I'm going to go back with my B91 and fill in the rest of his face. And then I'm going to go over that with my W00. And then for his breast there, we're going to use our E50 to color that in. Nothing too fancy. I'll give it a second, and I think I'll do a little dab over here on this side again, just to darken it a little bit over here. Let's give him a little cheek color with R11. So we're going to give him a little cheeks over here and over here. And then I'm going to go over that with my W00. And then for his beak, we're going to use YR27 and Y38. We're going to start with YR27. And then we're going to fill it in the rest of the way with our Y38. Alright, that leaves us with her shoes and her jumper that I colored red. Me and red, got to leave it to last. So for that we're going to use N5, R29, 27, 24, and 14. And I'm going to start with N5. And let's see, let's start down here on our shoe adding that. So let's do a little dab of that on here, and then over here next to this shoe. And then for this shoe, she's got a little bit of a crease right here, so I'm going to add a little bit there. And then on the bottom, down here. And then for her outfit, let me see, let's do a little bit, there's a little crease right here, so I'm going to do that and bring a little bit up the back of her shirt or her arm there and let's see how about we do a little dab down the inside of the strap uh oh I should have colored this little line right here with our blue greens I'll we'll have to get that back out okay we'll do a little dab up here and around the bottom of our button. And right here you can see the underside of her skirt, so I'm going to do that. And then let's do it coming away from her out for her from her body here or from her arm. And then right here it kind of dips down, so I'm going to make it have a little wrinkle right there.
then we want to add R29. So I'm going to start down here in our shoe. So I want to do my R29 right over the top of that N5. I'm going to color this bottom section in all the way. And I think I'll bring this up just on this side of the strap. Then for her dress, we are going to add a little bit up here to her to his straps. back of her outfit and the front of her outfit Then we want to add R27. So let's add that to our shoe. Then her outfit. down in here. And I think I'll bring this up like that. Okay, then we're going to add R24. So we a little dab to our shoe. Oh, gotta do the strap up here. And then we're going to finish it off with our R14. Okay, since I forgot these little um, straps, are the little um, lines on our straps, let's do those. So for that, we're going to use BG57, 34, 32, and then N0. I'm going to start with my BG57. We'll give each side a little dot. Then we're going to add BG34. BG32. And then we're going to go over the whole thing with N0. So there is our beautiful oak tree girl all colored up. Isn't she adorable? I love her. So on my finished card, I have, and when I got halfway done cutting her out, I didn't know what I was thinking because it's got all this little stuff here, so be careful when you're cutting that out, and this is flying free. So on my on my card, I have used, of course, my Spiffy Glitter Pen in um, her hair. 
So up here in her hair, she has some. And then all these little things that are flying out, and little swirls, I use it on there. And then I used my Spectrum Noir um, Clear Overlay Pin on the leaves. So I coated all the leaves with the sparkles and these little bells in her hair. All these, down, the, all these leaves down here. And then you have this little circle piece here is popped up. And then you have a piece behind it and this little um, honeycomb die. So what I did is I um, attached the little die to the piece behind it. And then I put some pop dots on the corners of the this piece on the back here and then I laid the circle or this mat over the top of it so I'd make sure that it fit onto um, in the circle so I didn't mess it up and then these the bunch of these clouds are also popped up on top of the mat so all these are popped up she's popped up and this little heart this little heart sentiment here is just laid on top of the mat and then um, stuck down with some glue so I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.